Hello, after a long break I have decided to continue the exoskeleton project. From the title of this video you probably already know what this project is about. The problem with today's exoskeleton gauntlets is that they are very bulky and expensive. They also require custom algorithms for different users as the signals sent through the muscle vary. In order to solve these problems, I plan on using additive manufacturing to create affordable exoskeletons and machine learning algorithms to generate personalized hypotheses. The designs you see here are created in Autodesk 123D to fit my fingers perfectly. By measuring where my joints are on my index finger, I was able to determine where the joints should be on the exoskeleton. I then used the finger length to joint position ratios to estimate the joint position for the other fingers. Once I finished designing them, I 3D printed them out on my new 3D printer. Here you can see the exoskeleton in index finger printed in PLA. The purpose of this model is to determine the correct joint angles for each finger. Although the finishing on the plastic isn't quite aesthetically pleasing, it is sufficient to test the fit and comfort. This finger consists of three sections. Each section can be easily removed as it is joined with a plastic hinge. This covers the mechanical design of the exoskeleton. In the next clip, I'll discuss the proposed software and computing models required for machine learning. This is the Mayo Armband, an electromyographic device that allows users to gather data from the muscles on their forearm and use it to interact with various systems. I plan on using this to acquire data for a multi-layer neural network which will control the exoskeleton. That concludes the introduction to my exoskeleton hand project. Thank you all for watching, and if you're interested in what kind of 3D printer I use to print the exoskeleton, I'll leave you with a few clips of that in action. Otherwise, thank you again, uh, like the video if you found it entertaining, and subscribe.